Crews are hard at work trying to restore power to the Wabash Valley. Thousands of folks are still coping with no power in this icy weather. Some for several days. News 10's Louisa Muller spoke to a few of the families surviving without power. She joins us now live in the studio with their stories. Louisa? Mark Patrice, some have chosen to desert their homes, turning to hotels or the Red Cross for refuge, but others are sticking it out. I spoke with one family who says they've been out of power since Monday and they're quickly reaching their breaking point. I sleep in the recliner and just keep an eye on a fire all night long, so it's like maybe you get one hour of sleep in between the two hours before you have to put another log on a fire. Larry and Carolyn Martin's living room is literally just that, taking up camp there since Monday night when their power went out. About 11.40, power went out. Uh, I got up and started a, a fireplace. That's what we've been surviving on since the, this all came about. A fireplace, some candles, and a camping stove kept it warm for a while. We went to 65 for some time, then the temperature started dropping off. So we started shutting the rooms off and uh, uh, just kind of cooping up and camping out. Now at 54 degrees inside, the temperature continues to go down. As it drops, so does Carolyn Martin's patience. Frustrated and cold and, I mean, surviving, I don't want to leave my home. I can see how people don't want to leave their home and floods and stuff are coming because this is home and you just don't want to leave. You're hoping that God's going to pass over, but it's like, it's getting cold. Now, crews have been out working long hours trying to restore your power as soon as possible. Duke Energy says that they are hitting the biggest pockets of power outages before they get to those small clusters of homes. Patrice, back to you. All right, thank you, Louisa.